Hi guys, once you complete this tutorial, you will be able to create your own e-commerce website having cash on delivery, bank payments and PayPal. You will be easily able to sell your work on Fiverr or any other freelancing website. So let's get started. On your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance and then click on Themes. Click Add New and then click Upload Theme. Choose File and keep one thing in your mind that it should be a zip file. Select your Templates zip file and then click install now it's gonna take a while for the installation process to complete installation process is completed now click on activate now you guys can see that our template is installed this theme requires the following plugins click begin installing plugins then select all and click install click apply these are some recommended plugins okay now you guys can see that we have successfully installed all the recommended plugins now go back to your install plugins page again you guys can see that we have successfully installed all the recommended plugins now all we will be doing is click on plugin again and go to drop down list and then click activate click apply so that it's gonna activate all the plugins wp bakery installed now go to your dashboard now go to plugins and click add new Click upload plugin and choose file. Now go to plugins folder and search for SOO demo importer. Click on it and click install now. Now click activate plugin. Okay, this demo importer is installed. Now go to appearance and click import demo data. Now scroll down and click on import. okay it says import completed now go to your website domain okay you guys can check that we have successfully imported our demo data go back to your dashboard again you guys can check your favicon icon here even on your website main page your favicon to edit this favicon and to add footer widgets even down here to add your footer menu you'll have to go to appearance and then click on customize now click on general and click on site identity now click here and upload your favicon it's gonna appear here you can change your site title and your description or tagline to change your color scheming go to styling and color scheme you can change from dark to light and then click on green color so you guys can see that our color scheming has already been changed from yellow to green to change or update your footer credits all you will be doing is go to footer and then go to footer copyright 
make any changes and click publish. To activate footer widgets and footer menu, go back to your dashboard, go to appearance and click on widgets. On top right, click on footer links, click first drop down list and select menu. Click footer link one and click save. Open another drop down menu and select footer link 2 click save link 3 to activate footer widget click on footer 1 ok it's already activated footer 2 click on it and then select menu footer widget 2 and click save click this drop down again and then click on company, select menu, footer widget 3 and click save. Now go to your website main page. So you guys can see that we have successfully activated our footer widgets and added these footer menu. Okay, let's make changes on the header area. If you want to make some changes here on this description, on language, currency, track your order or store location go back to your widgets page make changes here top bar left top bar right you can add languages here currency track your order and store location you can even make more changes header bar change your phone number to make changes on catalog sidebar you can go here and make changes on single product page okay so this is our product page to add different options for different colors or for different sizes go to your dashboard again and go to product and click on attributes now try to delete all the previous categories delete picture delete label okay let's make category for different color types type color again and slug and from drop down select color add attribute let's add another category for different sizes type size again on slug and from type select label add attribute okay let's configure color first let's add black color first black black and from color choose black color add new let's add purple color purple now slack color and choose purple let's add red color slack color again add color now let's add yellow color type yellow again now select yellow color and add new color okay so we have successfully added four colors you can add more now go back on attributes now configure different sizes okay now let's add a small size first then type small again on slug on label type s only and it should be capital okay let's now add another size medium in slug type medium again on label type capital m add new size now let's add large size 
in label type capital L and add new size another size should be X large X large on label type X L type add new size okay once you are done adding your different sizes don't forget to sequence these sizes small should be on top and then medium and then large okay now click on products now let's add our first product okay this is gonna be our first product now scroll down and add any category decoration or let's say home furniture click add let's add a brand name IKEA add new brand now set a product image here upload files and select any image and keep one thing in your mind that it's gonna appear on the main page set product image okay it's set now scroll down let's add some more images upload files select files okay now click on add to gallery images uploaded okay now on product data click on drop down list and select variable product add any code here and then click on attributes open this drop down list click on color click add click select all don't forget to click used for variations if you don't choose this option it's not gonna appear on the product page so don't forget to click on used for variations set attributes click on drop down again click on size now select all let's remove x large and used for variations save attributes now click on variations click on the drop down list and create variation from all attributes click go and click ok ok 12 variations added ok you guys can read that it's saying 12 variations do not have prices so simply click on it and wait for it to expand now on regular let's type 240 dollar and close it then expand the other one type to forty dollar again you'll have to add the prices again manually on all the selected categories if you leave anyone it's not gonna appear on your product page okay I have manually added price on each and every category now click on save changes now go back and click publish now click on view product now you guys can see that different colors and different sizes are appearing fine let's say if you want to change the style of these circles into square go to swatches and then switch style click square now go to top and click update from here you guys can even increase the size of these colors now refresh this page you guys can see that we have successfully made changes now click on add to cart okay it's added now click on view cart so the product is added in your cart now go to your wordpress dashboard and click on woocommerce 
okay now we need to fill in these details click continue yes count me in okay click electronics and computers click continue now then click continue again I don't have any product yet currently selling elsewhere no mark it on Facebook MailChimp creative mail Google AdWord now click continue now click continue with my active theme no thanks now click on setup payments now this is the main bit guys turn this toggle on to accept cash on delivery okay now click on setup paypal connect your paypal account click connect okay guys now let's get back to our card page okay scroll down and click on proceed to check out okay guys now you guys can see that this theme is supporting both cash on delivery and paypal we can even connect our bank account to receive payment directly to our bank account now click on home page scroll down if you are planning to remove this or any of these gadgets simply click on Add it with Elementor. Okay, now scroll down. Let's say we want to remove this widget completely. Right click on this snippet tool and click on delete. And then right click on this empty space and then click delete again. Simply click update and you are done. To read the detailed documentation on how to install and update and everything, just simply follow this link. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Nick's Navid YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.